Hi, welcome back to Musician's Edition Practice with me. We're still working in the Standard of Excellence, book one, and today we're on page 21. We're gonna work on Montego Bay. Now this is the arrangement for the whole entire band. Unfortunately, I can only show you our saxophone parts due to copyright stuff, but it should be enough to at least get you feeling confident to where you can play your part with the band. All right, so first thing is we're now learning what long rests look like. So the first four measures is just this black bar with the four over it. That means we are just resting for four measures. And the way you're supposed to count it is one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, play. Okay, so that's all it is, is we're just resting for that amount of measures. It's a little cleaner than if they were to write the whole rests for four measures, because sometimes those can get really long. And if you had 32 measures of rests, for example, that might be a few pages of literally just rests. Not having it. All right, <laughs> moving on, let's look at measure five. All right, so we just have a couple quarter notes, some eighth notes some half notes, so nothing too challenging rhythmically. Um, we do have a little bit of dynamics going on, so at measure five, we're starting at what? Forte, we're gonna play loud and proud, but at measure 13, what happens? We become soft, shh. Also, backtracking a little bit, what key signature are we in? Key of C, we have no sharps, no flats. What about our time signature? Common time, so four, four, great. Okay, and then we do have some divided parts as well, so about measure five through 12, we have divided parts. Depending on, you know, you'll be assigned a part, whether it's part one or part two. If you're part one, we'll play the top part, part two, we'll play the bottom part. But we're gonna learn both parts. Okay, so let's play measure five to 14 both of us on the top part. Okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job okay so just so you can kind of prepare ahead um, with the band arrangement at 13 we play you know which is like the lead and then part of the band will follow with something very similar which is the response da, 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 is what they're gonna play no it's not really important for this lesson but it's nice to know what comes ahead okay so let's play that again, but faster. All right, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job how are you doing so far are you remembering to play soft at measure 13 let's play it one more time let's take it a little bit faster there's no tempo markings here so I don't know how fast your band director is going to take this all right we're ready one two three four <laughs> Let's move forward. So the next thing we would do is just count two measures of rest, right? One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. And then 
let's look at 17 through the end of 20. So we're still going to be playing softly. And then at 19, when we divide again, we're going to play loud. So let's just play that right now. 17 to the end of 20. Okay, ready? We'll start slow and go faster like we did. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Nothing too hard we just have the uh, statement and the response as well okay so let's do it again let's take it a little bit faster ready one two three four <laughs> perfect let's do it one more time a little bit faster and then we'll move on ready one two three Excellent job. I hope you're also remembering to tongue all of that. We don't have any slurs or ties so far. All right. Now, taking a look at measure 21, we now have different dynamics for the different repeats. So now we know that there are repeats because it tells us. So where is the repeat? End of 28, where does it take us to? Measure 21. And then we have this secondary repeat. So the second time playing through at the end of 27, we're going to skip to measure 29. Okay, so also looking, it says the first time we're gonna play in what dynamic? Forte, second time we're gonna play quietly. Now, we do also have some accidental showing up. So if you see in measure 22, F becomes F sharp. And we know that because we see the sharp symbol on the F. So that's something to make note of before we start playing. And then, yeah, everything else looks pretty good. Let's play measure 21 to 29. So the end of 28. We won't repeat yet. Okay, ready? We'll take it slow. One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Okay, so that first time would be loud. If we were repeating, it'd be quiet the second time. All right, let's do the same exact thing. Let's go a little bit faster. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job okay so don't forget we also have some accents in measure 24 ta 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 so let's make sure we accent them this go around one more time let's go a little faster okay ready one two three four <laughs> Excellent job. Okay, this time, what we're gonna do is we're gonna play in measure 21. We're gonna hit the repeat, repeat at 21, play softly. And then we're going to play until measure 30, okay? Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. 
excellent job. So the end of that repeat at measure 29 sounds exactly like measure 28. Okay, let's move ahead now and let's look at measure 31 until the end. So for the rest of the song, we're going to play forte, loud and proud, okay? And it just gets a little easier and don't forget to accent at the end. Ta, ta, ta. All right, measure 31. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. Let's take it a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job. One more time. A little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job. Okay, let's play from the beginning to the end, including the repeat, all part one. And yes, we're going to do the counts because it's important to do so and to learn how to do it. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. How'd you do? Perfect. Okay, so now let's go through and do the second part. Okay, so we're going to do like we did last time. We're going to start from measure five to the end of 14, part two. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> job. So it really helps that the rhythm remains the same. It's just different notes. All right, let's do it again. A little faster. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent job. All right, moving 
on to 17 to the end of 20, part two now. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> These ones sound very similar. It's just 19 and 20. We're just down a third. All right, let's do it again a little faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. <laughs> Excellent. One more time, a little faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. All right, let's do 21 to the end of 28. No repeat, bottom part. Ready? One, two, three, four. Great job. I don't know if you struggled a little bit with 23 with those eighth notes. It's just G down to F natural. That's all. All right, let's do it again. A little faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent job. You also might be struggling a little bit with the G to the B going 23 to 24. So you might just take a little time to practice just that. And of course, start slow and then speed it up. You get the drift. All right, let's do that section one more time, a little bit faster. Ready? One, two, three, four. Excellent. I think I took that faster than anything else. But, like I said, I don't know the tempo of this piece or how your conductor is going to conduct it, so better safe than sorry, right? And sometimes it's just really fun to play fast. All right, let's do 31 to the end now. All right, second part. One, two, three, four. <laughs> We should feel pretty good about the end part. So this time, let's do the whole entire song once again with the rests, part two. Okay, ready? One, two, three, four.
Okay, now for fun, let's play this all together, but now we're going to play separate parts. So, how about this go around? You play the top, I'll play the bottom. We're going to do the rests, we're going to do the repeats. Okay, ready? Remember, you're on top. One, two, three, four. the bottom part I'll play the top part okay ready one two three four to repeat, watch your accents, watch your dynamics. All right, if you have any questions about Montego Bay or just about the saxophone in general, please let me know in the comments. Thanks for joining and until next time. <laughs>